Welcome to my channel, my name is Tom Peter and today I'm going to take you through a chest and back superset workout. You need two pairs of dumbbells, one heavy pair and one light pair or one adjustable pair of dumbbells. You'll also need a bench for this workout which is adjustable and then you can just follow along with me and we'll get going. We're going to start with an incline bench press and we're going to pair it with a prone neutral grip row. We're going to do 40 seconds of work with a 20 second transition. Let's get ready to go. Alright, so with this workout I want you to focus on time under tension rather than counting reps. So we're going to aim for a nice slow eccentric lowering phase, three counts down, feel the stretch on your chest at the bottom and then squeeze your pecs together as you press towards the top. So we're going to have about three seconds down and one to two seconds up. and rest. We're going to move on to a pro neutral grip row, got 15 seconds rest. You can see the little pop-up box on the screen gives you a visual demo of how to do it. You're going to have your chest on the bench, you're going to pull the dumbbells towards your sides with your palms facing one another. Make sure your chest stays in contact with the bench for the whole set. We don't want you to arch your lower back and lift your chest off almost push your chest into the bench as you pull your back muscles together. The dumbbells shouldn't come up directly in a straight line. They should actually pull back towards your pockets slightly. Just like on the last set, I want to focus on a slow eccentric lowering phase and a slightly faster concentric pull with a pinch at the top. Okay, so you've got another rest. We're gonna switch back to that incline bench press. You're gonna to total three sets of each. This is section one of three in this workout. So finish those sets off, and I'll give you some more tips for the next section.
so you've got a 30 second rest now before we go on to section two of the workout. For this section, you're gonna need the bench flat and you're gonna be doing some one and a half neutral grip bench press and you're gonna pair that with a dumbbell pullover. You can see the one and a half press now on the screen with a little demo. So you're gonna come down, come halfway up, back to the bottom and then all the way up. So every other rep, you're gonna come all the way back to the top. Let's go. This one and a half technique for the bench press reduces the amount of time you spent locked out during the set, therefore maximizing the time and attention for your chest muscle. So you've got 20 second transition now to get ready for that single dumbbell lap pullover. You can see a demo in the box on the screen. Maintain a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole set. And let's go. You wanna make sure your tailbone stays on the bench. It's normal to have a natural curve in your lower back but try not to exaggerate that curve as the dumbbell comes over your head. So you're maintaining some ab tension, avoiding an excessive arch in your lower back. Only drop the dumbbell as far as your shoulders feel comfortable with. So there's set one done on both exercises. We're gonna do another two sets of each in this superset format, and then we'll move on to the final section of the workout.
and rest. You're gonna need the bench back at an incline for this final pair. We're gonna do an incline dumbbell fly, supersetted with a wide prone row. We're gonna start with that incline fly, keeping a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole movement. Make sure you're not overextending your shoulders at the bottom. And I want you to keep a gap between the dumbbells at the top so you can maintain tension on your chest because the top bit's fairly easy, so we don't need to come all the way in. So spinning yourself around, you're gonna use the same dumbbells. You're gonna use an overhand grip. So that means palms facing towards your toes. This time I want you to pull as wide as you can, pulling your elbows up towards the ceiling and out. You still wanna maintain contact with your chest on the bench, making sure you're not over-engaging your lower back muscles.
Thanks for joining me for that chest and back workout. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please take a quick second to hit that like button. Uh, which of the exercises did you find the hardest? Put in the comments. I was feeling my chest burning the most on those one and a half presses, especially that third set. If you want to do more workouts with me, check out my follow alongs playlist. There's loads of dumbbell ones you can get involved with on there. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe, uh, put the notifications on if you don't want to miss any. And hopefully I'll see you again soon for another video.